Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you five different websites to track the coronavirus. I put this list together for myself because I had to get off of Facebook and delete it off my phone because I couldn't take the disinformation. And hopefully you're here for the same reason. So we're going to start with a website that's probably down. He's a 17-year-old kid from Seattle, as you can see in the picture. And as you follow along, you can click the name or you can click the picture and it'll open the website for you. Last I knew he was down. I've been waiting about a half hour for this video for him to come back up, but he's gotten very, very popular. His data is very clear and simple to read. If you're just looking to track live, he's probably doing it better than anybody else out there. Gives you all the details at a glance, as you can see by the pictures. Oh, yep. Hey, he's up. So as you can see, it's super, super simple to look at. It's updated every minute, which not too many people are doing it. And he does that by scraping a bunch of different websites and compiling it by the minute. There you go. Pretty cool. It's one of my favorites. I don't want to ruin the surprise, but the first two are kind of my favorites. But the last one is kind of in there, too, for geeky factor. So stick with me. CDC, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. What I like about this is, while, again, they probably update about daily, is the information regarding facts, symptoms, travel, schools, business, those of you who have to work at home now. And, of course, scroll down for all your latest cases and updates. Pretty easy to do. You can click on states, etc. to get any information that you need. Very cool. I like it for the information factor. Number three, John Hopkins University. A little more complicated than the first one. A little more information, though, comes with it being a little more complicated. Recovered, confirmed. As you can see, this number actually updated, I believe, from when I did the article just not that long. Yeah, so they're updating pretty frequently. And you can go from active cases, confirmed cases, country, province. You have your graph here, which you can change around. Pretty cool. And again, so it's kind of, um, I would say it's a little more in-depth than the first one. So if you want a little more information, that might help. The World Health Organization, once again, we can just click the picture. And sometimes they're going to load a little slow as people are looking. As you can see, they're behind on a number of cases. So they're not updating as frequently. They have an active map, cases by date. So it's almost in between less information than John Hopkins, but more information than our first one. I want to say his name, Avi, Avi Schiffman. I see AVI as a computer geek, and I just say AVI. So I'm going to call Avi AVI, and that's a, if you didn't know, of type of video format. All right, where were we? I did World Health, right? Yeah, it's over here. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So let's go to the last one. And this is a little geeky. And this is Major Geeks. This is kind of cool because it kind of looks like DNA. And you can just line your mouse over to look at whatever you want and see all the live numbers. But here's a cooler fact. You can change your date. You can look up other stuff, flu, measles. Kind of cool. Colors, location, country, region. So this is probably the most in-depth of most of them. Now, I like the tree options. If this annoys you, switch to radial. If that doesn't thrill you, switch to unrooted. And, of course, clock. And you have branch lengths. Which one do I like best? I think I like radial. You, you click what you like. Branch labels, search the strains. Add a second tree. There is no options for that currently for this particular coronavirus. Location, division, country, animation speed, looping. So as you can see, you could spend a little bit more time in here and get some pretty neat information, although it does pack an awful lot of information into this little area here. So there you have it. That All five of these should cover you, no matter what it is you're looking for. And again, one of my favorites is the top two and again for the reason that his is simple stats live and this gives you all the information the facts that you need so hopefully it's helped you as much as helped me to get off social media and, and all this news so there you have it bottom right corner you can click subscribe to major geeks check us out if you're not a major geek we have a lot of youtube tutorials on how to fix your computer and make things work the way you like it to work etc etc fix bugs you know so we appreciate you watching either way. See ya.